I'm the general manager of Courtesy Chevrolet Cadillac. I've been in the car business for 24 years. When we built this dealership, it was our intention to build a world-class facility um, that really gave our customers a premium experience in sales, service, parts department. And we figured that once we have spent all of that money on these great finishes and on all of this square footage, we, we wanted to have some continuity um, with the fence product that we chose. We compared Trex fencing to a couple of other materials. If you're going to move 100 cars a day from time to time, um, you know, people are going to make mistakes. And what we found is uh, with the vinyl fencing product that um, if a vehicle hit the vinyl fencing product, it would damage a very substantial portion of it. Um, the, the one time that someone over here has rubbed up against this product, the damage um, really isn't even noticeable. It, it, it happened so long ago now, I couldn't bring it to you and show it to you. I don't even remember what it is. We're in South Louisiana. We're going to have some wind storms. We're going to have high winds um, along this corridor. And in the event of um, hurricane landfall, we want to make sure that we don't deal with the same damages that we've dealt with in some of our other dealership locations that use vinyl fencing that, frankly, would have proven to be very fragile. The fact that this product could sustain such high winds was a very big part of us making the decision to purchase it. The business that neighbors us is an oil field uh, fabrication and machine shop. Some of their tools can be unsightly, and we find that the Trex fencing really helps to insulate us from some of the noise that comes from the next door business. After we looked at the total package, which was um, the expected life of the product, the appearance of the product, uh, the quality of the workmanship. Once we considered all of those factors, we thought that the Trex fencing represented the best value out there.